Easy. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and I'm getting out bright and early this morning. It is, uh, well, my watch is turned off. I had me turn my watch on just yet. I think it's like 7.30 this morning. And uh, we're planning on taking the Razor out and doing some riding at Crossbar Off-Road Park here in, in Davis, our local amazing off-road side-by-side -side park. Bear is, is uh, needing some attention. Earl's needing some attention. But I woke up this morning to some pictures and a text message from my friend that's running our uh, hog trap over here for us. And uh, we've got a hog in the trap. Now, I don't think it's anywhere near as big as the one we previously caught. It's not that big spotted hog that I was hoping for. Hang on. The humidity's lovely, right? But either way, we've got a hog in the trap. He caught it at about, uh, I think he texted me about 11.30 last night and said, hey, we got a pig in the trap. I'll be over first thing in the morning. We'll go, we'll go load it up. So I'm gonna get the uh, Kubota sidekick out and go check this thing out. Go see how big of a hog we caught last night. So it looks like we caught another boar hog. This is a, a, a smaller black boar hog. Um, I've had several pictures of him over here in this area. I, I, I don't have any corn in that deer feeder at all right now, but I'm kind of glad we caught this guy. He's got a mangled up looking back leg. It looks like it's been broke for a long time. He's walking on it, but it is not in good shape at all. Like, I, there's no telling what's happened to this thing. These things are tough. They are crazy tough, but Golly, it just looks bad. And here comes the pig man. He's a tough sucker. This dude is trying to jump out with a broken back leg. I saw that in the pictures. I don't know how long that leg's been broke, but he acts like it's not even a problem. Pictures, so I can I'm, see it. It is, I mean, it's been snapped and he's just running on it like it's no big deal. <laughs> like he tries to jump off of it. I mean, there's no way that's a new injury. He's been walking on that thing for a long time. His foot's curled around and he's walking on the top of his foot. That is just crazy. Oh, that looks painful. Easy. Easy. He's not near as mean as that last one, though. So you can see what he does. He puts this piece of plywood on there and then he'll be able to raise that gate and he lines it up with the gate on his trailer and loads him out of here. You got that down to an art. Yes, that I sucker do. just wanted to crawl right up in there. Didn't <laughs> it? 
you when wouldn't. Old, when they're old men like that, they want to do it. Well, there you have it. Another pig caught, another feral, invasive, nasty, disgusting wild hog removed off of our property. That was another another boar, like we said, and that, that leg injury was just nasty. But it looks like it's been like that for probably months, if not over a year or two, because uh, he was literally just walking on the top of his foot, and he'd stand up and try to jump, and clearly it wasn't hurting him too bad, but my guess is, is that hog probably got hit by a car and uh got got that injury so could have been something else but that's my guess so anyways that's not what the plan for the day was it's funny how quickly plans change isn't it so we're gonna take the uh the razor out to crossbar ranch today it's gonna be dj and myself and houston and and one of his friends and uh not a place for the kubota sidekick i love that kubota sidekick but uh it is it is not meant for where we're gonna take that thing today and uh, anyway so the guys over at uh, crossbar off-road park and uh, so that's a that's a local place here in davis oklahoma it's like 4500 acres we've been there several times and shot a few videos over there but they're trying to expand this thing and turn it into a lot more but uh, they have a big event coming up in october and i'm not sure what it's called but it's a big ultra four race and i think they're going to do like a concert and all kinds of stuff but if any of you guys watch uh uh, demolition ranch or off the ranch with matt character he used to have an ultra four truck called the nightmare which is kind of funny because his wife's name is meredith anyways the nightmare usually comes up and races there with the new owners so these ultra four trucks are incredible and uh i think they're going to give us like some vip passes to go do some stuff there so it's going to be a cool event and they're going to have a lot of stuff going on but anyways that's not today we're just going to take the razor out and have some fun with some friends and uh really try not to tear anything up because huh, I don't want to tear anything up but anyways I'm gonna get my chores done have some uh, have some breakfast and we got a few things to do and then we're gonna go riding this afternoon <laughs> Gotten smooth, DJ. You're not at the top of my fave list. Huh? You're not at the top of my fave list right now. This is actually Daniel Hill. Oh, is da it? Daniel Hill. <laughs> yeah. Where's the bottom? I can't see the bottom, DJ. I might pass out real quick. I'm not right. real sure there is a bottom. <laughs> That's comforting. It's so hard to beep really fast. I don't want to do this. Your heart's beeping really fast. Yeah, I don't want to do this. Why? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's pretty steep. Oh my gosh. Have we done this before? Yeah. Oh, well, why am I panicking? That's a good question. Why are you That's panicking? I thought it was new. I mean, it's still like, whew. It takes my breath away, but. Not so bad. It's the up. 
The up is going <laughs> Wasn't that bad. We've been here before. Okay, just go. It's painful. What? You look extremely nervous. Just go. Prolonging the inevitable. popping out of the grass. That is. Uh oh, DJ looks scared. What do you think about that? I'm fine now. You feel like a new human, don't you? <laughs> what do you think, Caden? That was, that was pretty That's pretty awesome, isn't it? It felt like we were about to fish. All you could see, like when I was videoing you guys, all you could see was like this much of the razor, and I said, oh, is that them popping out of the grass? <laughs> <laughs> it's really washed out. Not today. Pretty steep. Good luck. May the force be with you. May the, well, we're awful close to the 4th of July. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. Probably post this after the 4th of July. Though. I hope the 4th was with us. <laughs> Me too. If you're seeing this, the 4th was with us. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not posting it. I mean, maybe. I'll have Dutch do it. Rolling down that hill might get a million views. Don't say that. Like if I let off the brake and roll down backwards. Just I didn't mean 
just go rolling side to side. Quit with all the net. Quit with all the negativity. Also, Richie told me, he came around the edge and said, hey, don't go. It's way worse at the top than it used to be. I used to be able to climb right there pretty easy, but today, not so much. Oh. We're going to go the easy side. Okay, good luck. I just almost videoed you falling down, bro. Hey, of course Houston would find a creek to explore. You reckon you find any arrowheads out here? Probably. Arrowheads, trout, probably no trout. Not in this lake, I mean in this creek. I said lake. No trout in this creek. There's probably not even any bass in this creek. Or bluegill. Well, you might, might be surprised. There'll be a few bluegill here and there in some of these little small holes. <laughs> what you laughing at, bro? You. Think there's any crawdads out here? Not under that little bitty rock. You're gonna have to find something a little bigger and a little cleaner. Hey, you know what me and you need to come out here and do sometime? Oh, hang on. I got a horse fly biting me. Me and you need to come out here sometime and do like an overnight challenge. Bring the razor out. That would be cool. Camp all night, cook. Yeah. What do you think about that idea? That would be cool. That would be fun. Just find somewhere along one of these creeks to camp for the night and we just sleep with the snakes and stuff. Bears? No bears. No bears. No bears out here. But I guarantee you there's got to be some arrowheads. Richie has to leave his eyes open.
What do you think about that? Uh, she let her baby ride with me. I thought she was crazy. <laughs> Oh, I thought he. I thought oh, they were they going were getting, over here. They were here. hitting the tree. Oh, oh. my gosh! Woo. Oh, That's he'll, it. He'll no be more. so proud. Oh. He'll be so proud of himself. We're never gonna hear the end of it. Okay, he'll be grinning ear to ear. I think it's a problem. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Listen, I don't care about what you got to say. What'd y'all think? Um, no, scary but fun as heck. I mean, they'll at least give me the truth. They're, no, they won't, because their eyes was closed till we got to the top. <laughs> my head was down like this. <laughs> mine was too. Hey, I, I had mine down like this, trying to video, because I didn't want to get hit with rocks. I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to kill me. Hey, I, I was shaking so bad when I was there. I was like, if I don't just smash it, I'm not going to go. And then I went and it kicked it, went over the top, and like you said, and it kicked us to the left, and I was like, yeah. bite back, and then it bit back and kicked us back to the right. You turn on the west and go right straight And I just we finished telling over. Houston right there, I was like, well, if we roll right here, the trees will catch us. So we'll be all right. Oh, my That's gosh, she Richie. Thought she's like, he's fixing to roll. Yeah. They were going up, not down, though. Ah!